Good evening guys, I'm Bigel from Budget Georgia and today we are at a very special and cool place at Bayas Winery and this is Bayam and today we are going to tell you 5 things you must know about Georgian wine and food theory. Uh, all the wine and food has its own taste and aroma, so uh, pairing them is a guarantee for a great dinner with a great wine. And also in case of wine and food, structure is the most important thing. And in case of wine, we have the special structure from tannins, acidity, and also sweetness and dryness itself. And in case of food, we have the salt, fat, and the body of the food. So both of the ideas is very important. If you choose wine and food uh, in the wrong way, you might uh, lose taste of both of them and you won't be able to enjoy any of them at all. So it's a really important issue. The first wine today we review is Cazzitelli from Eastern Georgia. So Cazzitelli is the grape variety from Eastern Georgia. And uh, it's also made Cazzitelli with a traditional method in Quevri, means that we have the full-bodied white wine and sometimes in the world people are calling them uh, amber wine or even orange wine itself. And uh, the wine is full of tannins, and, but they are very balanced and also it's uh, very fresh at the same time. Cazzitelli is a unique wine. It goes well with absolutely everything, I guess. Uh, mostly uh, with different type of uh, cheese, uh, with uh, soup, with, uh, with meat, uh, with double uh, hatchet goes perfectly, with gouda cheese, and with hashlama as well. Hashlama is uh, beef, uh, stewed beef uh, with salt. Yeah, and while we have the strong and very uh, high alcoholic white wine, we can even drink it with a uh, dolma, Georgian dish, and also with chakapuri, the lamb, uh, lamb dish itself. And also, we can use uh, as a great wine for very spicy and garlic food. Gahati region is actually very proud because of this wine, and it is their pure actually. The second wine we want to show you today is Tsolik Auri from Western Georgia. And Tsolikov is the, considered to be the queen of investment part of Georgian wines and also the most planted white grapes here we have Tsolikov. The wine is very balanced with acidity and very nice fruity aromas it does have. So it goes perfectly with the local food, for example the best one is chicken and fried chicken or boiled one, as well diversities of the cheese which we have on the table and also Georgian sweets and dry fruits like uh, we have here and chuchela which is a um, Georgian traditional sweet. If you happen to travel in Kutaisi, in Batumi or actually everywhere in Western Georgia you can uh, ask for Tsolikauri for dinner and trust me you will have great evening in this case. One more special guest, uh, David uh, Kitai, that is a wine writer from Canada. David, please. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. The next one we want to introduce you is uh, one of the most well-known Georgian red wine, Saparavi from Eastern Georgia. So please try this. And also Saparavi is um, one of the rare grape in the world who does have even the red uh, flesh inside. And flesh, yeah? Flesh. And strong Saparavi source goes very good at uh, pork barbecue and mushrooms. So Saparavis are very good at uh, uh, Chashishuli, Chahukpili, veal, uh, and the young of, sorts of Saparawi are very good at beans, sandwiches, and cold meat. And David, please let us know your, about your experience uh, with Saparawi. Yeah, Saparawi is usually the, like, the first, as you said, the first uh, red wine that you'll interact with in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's a fantastic varietal. It can go with so many different kinds of food. Um, it has that kind of element of spice and that richness that you expect from like a full-bodied fruity red wine mm -hmm. but then you get a little bit of this kind of lighter more fresh acidic edge to it mm -hmm. so that helps it you know refresh your palate as you're going through these very long meals and even outside of just Georgian food you can pair Saparabi with all kinds of different foods especially actually I find more Middle Eastern and even some Mexican foods foods that are kind of harder to find that pairing for Saparabi is a really really good job. Well, thank you for your opinion. Let's go to another wine. Now it's time for what's hungry supper, that is a uh, red dry wine from Western Georgia. Please. What's hungry supper is one great variety which is grown in Emirati and in uh, Western Georgia. 
And also it should be said that uh, while growing it's not so easy because the first harvest you can get only after 4, 5 and 10 years. So uh, winemakers and grape growers are waiting for a long time. But the wine itself has a perfect finish and also is full of fine acidity and uh, some um, fruity aromas. The best dishes for uh, the Tranduri Sapere are um, meat uh, dishes uh, like this, for example, the bean soup, salads, sandwiches, and cold meat. Well, Tranduri Sapere is a really interesting varietal, I think, because it's part of this whole rebirth of um, artisanal Georgian winemaking after the Soviet Union. It was a great varietal that fell out of favor for the reasons that Baya said, and now a few dedicated growers, including Baya, are kind of bringing it back to Georgia. And it's really fantastic. Again, it's a very universal for some of those same reasons as Sapparavi. It's got that freshness, but it's got that body. It also has a bit of this like umami feeling. You know, when you talk about umami, that like that fifth flavor of really savory, almost a salty minerality to the wine. And also Kunuri Sapparavi has that in spades, and it's really, really fantastic. The last word for today is Huanchgara. It's a red semi-sweet wine from mountains of Western Georgia. And there are diversities of methods of making Huanchgara wines. And uh, traditionally it seems to be semi-sweet or like sweet ones, or you, you can even make the dry one itself. Uh, some sorts of Huanchgara are so strong that you can have it with uh, ham, with uh, bean soup and with pile of beans. The softer ones are better to try with red fruit and the soft cakes. Actually, the best food for Panchgara is charros that we have out here. Here is chuchela, some dried fruit and this lapis. And don't forget to taste Panchgara while it's cold because all same sweet wines is better to be tasted while they are cold. Mm -hmm. The beans that Giga mentioned um, are notorious from the region where Panchgara is from, from Racha and Lechkumi, where there are some of the highest elevation vineyards in Georgia. And uh, traditionally, at least historically, I've heard this story that to make the wine semi-sweet, they would pick it at, the, ele at the, the sort of highest elevation where you could grow grapes, and then they would bring the grapes to an even higher elevation for fermentation. Because it got colder faster at the higher uh, elevation, the wine would almost freeze and the sugar would stay in the wine. Um, what you get with Quenchbara is a wine that's very, very elegant, that again has all of this kind of food pairing capability, but it's a little softer, a little more gentle, something that you need to kind of coax a little bit, um, but the result can be fantastic. So, thank you for watching. This was our five tips about matching Georgian wine and food. Subscribe our channel and follow us for more videos. Thank you for watching.